Want to learn how to use On One Photo Raw? Today we're going to talk about how to import and rearrange your images so you can find them quickly to begin your life on making world-class macro photography. Join me now as I start this series just for you macro photographers. For the best advice on learning on one with my tutorials to teach you macro photographers, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video to YouTube on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm crazy honored to have my work on a variety of internet streaming devices that's available to 91 million streaming users. I now mentor macro photographers to help them make world-class images that they're proud of. So before we really get into the series, what I'd like you to do is check out onone.com and go to the free tab right here and try this out for 14 days with me. We're going to work with the standalone on one, which means basically you're going to be using on one only as you post process your images. But if you do have Lightroom or Photoshop or another software program, this can be run as a plugin, which is pretty cool. You'll understand all of these effects and resize and HDR later in this training. So what is On One? On One is a professional photography editor and it's made by photographers. So they understand what we want as a processor when we photograph and put our images into their software and how to get it to feel the way we want it to feel. So they understand us photographers. So what I'd like to share with you here, if you do love On One, you can subscribe for $7.99 a month or you can just own it right out. What I love about On One is that it is like Lightroom where you can organize your images. You can see here, you can organize your images. And it's like Photoshop where you can use layers and masks. So you can really enhance and tell a story with your photographs. I also love that you can download the photo raw into your phone because if you're like me, even though it's a phone shot, you still want it to look exciting and amazing. So this app is really cool to use on your phone. What we're going to do today is dive in to planning and organizing your images so you can find them fast so you have more time to photograph and post process. So let's get to it. With any software program that you begin, it is confusing for sure. So what I want to do is just give you some basics so you can find your work. We don't need to go through everything at the moment because it just will confuse you. I use a Mac, but the concept is still the same. Right here, you can see that these are the files that are on my actual computer. What I want you to understand is the way you structure your files on your computer or your external hard drives is the way on one will be able to see your images. So as you can see here, I'm on on one and here is all of the folders, the image folders that I just shared with you that are on my computer. What I love about On One is you do not have to upload. You just click on a folder and basically what you see is what you get. So here are my original cards. Here are my masters. These are my tips. This is how I work. You may organize your files differently. But basically what you must know is that however you organize your files on your computer is how you're going to see the images in On One. What I like to share with you over here to the left is a really quick tool of getting started when you first begin On One. This is awesome. So if you click there, this is where you can edit a single photo, browse some folders, 
We will get into the catalog of your photos later. I hear from photographers all the time that they can't find their images. If you take the time to organize, you'll be able to find your work easy. Most of the time, you guys are going to download your photographs to your computer or an external hard drive. And then you will go to this browse section in here and you will look for your image. I'm looking at my local drive, but if you have another hard drive that you like to use, then it'll show up here in the drives. You can see here that I'm in pictures, it's highlighted, and you can also see that I am in the sunflower folder here to the left. You do not have to import like other software because it's reading from your hard drive. So I wanna give you a quick tip, even though On One can just look at your images straight off the bat from your computer, I highly recommend that you add metadata and that's basically information to your images. So when you're out there putting it to the world, it basically says it's yours. So let's do this real quick. Go to File, Import from Device, because I have taken my, I put my card in my Lexar and now it's popping up in front of me. So it says import from devices. Again, the reason why I feel this is good is because you're gonna add metadata over here to the right. If you wanna make a new folder, you can for this. This is the location that it's in, user Janice Flower Fun. Let's go ahead and add a new folder I took these shots right now just to do this for you guys. <laughs> I'll say purple. I'm not gonna rename anything, but you can do all this if you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and add metadata. Click on the dot. Keywords, you can find your images easy, so please do this. So I will import, and there are my flowers that I just shot at this moment. <laughs> now over here to the right, you can see what the information, how I shot it, and see the 7200, this little quick tip, I use a filter. I love it, I have a video on that that I'll share down below. Now what I wanna do is talk to you about albums and catalogs. That's really important to help you find your work quickly. So let's talk about catalogs and albums. Right now you see that I'm in the browse area. This is basically my local drive. But in order to work, if you can look over here to the right, you'll see that this image is 26 megapixels. And yes, we can work on this image in on one, but sometimes if you have a computer that's really laggy, it might be difficult to render, which means once you post-process and have it complete what you've done, it'll take a while and it could be frustrating. Catalogs are the tickets. Over here to the left, you can see these are my catalogs. And what a catalog does is basically, it just holds all of the information and makes a, this thumbnail so you can see what you've done to the image. It still processes it. It's, it doesn't move any of your images around. Just know that a catalog will help you post-process much faster. This is actually in my catalog already because it is a sub folder in my picture file. But let's just say that this was not part of the actual picture file. What I would do is on my browse, this is where my actual file folders live, I would go down here to the purple and then I could click up here to the right, this little folder, and it says copy to my catalog. And then I would pick wherever I want it to go. And I could do pictures. I can even make a new subfolder if I want, but we'll just go ahead and copy it. And instantly it goes to my catalog. 
And now I can have fun post-processing really quickly. Over here to the left are albums. And what I'd like you to think about when it comes to albums is portfolio. Because what an album will do is if you want several different images in one place that are in different locations in your actual main computer, your main files on your computer, but you want to put them in one location so you can view everything, that's what the album is for. Out the album, I get so excited about the album because I always push on portfolio and making work that really tells story within. That's what you'll do. You can just go ahead and click on the plus sign, create an album, and we'll say dreamy images. You know, maybe you're doing a dreamy portfolio. And push OK. What I'll do is right click. And this is really powerful. So don't always check out the right click. I love using this. Because I always have so many photographs, this right here, Reveal in Folders, is really good for on one. And there it is. I may want to put more dreamy images in that album. So I'm just going to, down at the bottom, you can see, you can make it smaller to look at the images. And I'll just do a Control for PC command. Now that I have them all selected, I'll drag them all and just throw them in the dreamy image album. Think of album, portfolio. That's what I like to say, portfolio. Comment below and let me know what you use to process your macro photography. All right, for you Lightroom users, you can take all of the information that you have in the catalog of Lightroom and export it to On One. Go to File, Plugin Extras, and then you will go to Migrate Catalog to On One Photo. And that gives you all the steps on what to do next, read everything, and then you can migrate. The link will be down below to help you read more if you're interested. So let's find images fast. A lot of times I do a lot of stacking and I want to make sure that I want to get to them quickly. So one of the things that's really cool is that you can go down here to the bottom in the advanced search area. You can look up here to the top and you can use it down in here. You can pick where you want to search. And here is the advance. So what I'm going, this is everything, obviously. But what I want to do is I like to shoot my work at F8 when I'm stacking. It's for the 100 millimeter, it's awesome. So there's all my F8 images. And instantly, I'm already seeing work that I could stack. So here's some leaves. Let's see what else I got in here real quick. Some stems. Download my ultimate and essential macro photography toolkit. This will get your hands on my top macro photography resources so you can create work faster without the guesswork. Look out for the next video on On One where we dive into the basic tools. If you like this video, have it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Are you new to macro photography? If so, click down below and check out my playlist on macro photography basics.